this logic of them cutting up the line is really a contract between invaders, a contract between colonizers who treat the land as an object to exploit, to extract from. And so none of these um, communities get consulted or get asked or are part of this. Um, today, there's these cons consultations that states um, perform with native peoples here to sell concessions for mining extraction to whether it's the United States or China, but the, the land is still treated as a plantation with nation states. So this is the prehistory of the border that we get to after this immediately Abi Ayala, Turtle Island starts getting cut up into vice royalties, the vice royalty of Brazil, of Rio de la Plata. The first one was New Spain, which becomes Mexico and New Granada and Peru. So again, the logic of cutting up the world. From above, and at this moment, cartographers are even talking about themselves as, you know, kind of playing God and not at all respecting the below, not respecting the land not respecting life. After this happens here in our lands, in Africa, this happens as well. This happens in the late 19th century, the 1880s, and it happens in Europe. There is a wall map of Africa put up. It's hosted in Berlin by the Germans. Germany had just been created as a nation state in 1870. And it wanted to get into the game of empire as well. So it called its contemporary empires, Britain, France, Belgium, all of the, uh, there's Italy who participated, Portugal. Um, and they decided how they were gonna cut up Africa. And it was a moment by the late 19th century, it's a moment where they're just grabbing as much land as they, as they possibly can, not knowing what ends up being there. And of course, the Congo gets gifted by Europeans to a single European, King Leopold II, who treats the Congo as his personal rubber plantation. And of course, now we know the Congo is still understood as a plantation. And the act of genocide there is the people getting in the way of what capital wants from the Congo. 